Today we're gonna to talk about depth of field, not scientifically speaking, but practically speaking. So let's get started. Depth of field is just generally the distance between the nearest thing and the furthest thing away in your shot that you would consider to be in focus. There are some basic rules that sort of govern what depth of field is and how much you end up getting, so let's go over those. In general, the higher the focal length, the narrower the depth of field will be. So a 50 millimeter lens at a specific f-stop is going to have more depth of field than an 85 millimeter lens at the same f-stop. Inversely, when your aperture is wide open, a smaller F number, there's going to be less in focus than if you stop down to a smaller aperture, a larger F number. Now, I never really understood why a big opening is a small number and a small opening is a big number, but just think about it this way. The larger the F-stop, the larger, the higher the number, the more things you have in focus, the more depth of field that you're gonna get. So practically speaking, at a normal portrait distance with a normal portrait lens, F4 may not produce enough depth of field to get a person's nose and ear in focus. And if you're shooting a group portrait, a wider lens like a 35 millimeter at a high F number or you know, stop down may be the way to go. And if you're shooting a full length portrait at F8 with an 85 millimeter lens, you're going to record details in the props, the model, and the background. And that's why most of the time when I'm shooting in the studio, an 85 millimeter and F8 is the way to go. Now, some lenses may have focus scales like my Canon EF 35 millimeter 1.4. So if you wanted to shoot a basketball team, let's say, the scale shows you that at f11, everything between infinity and about six feet can be in focus. These little tick marks indicate the depth of field for f8, so if you manually focused right here, everything between 10 feet and infinity would be in focus. So you're probably wondering, why don't we just shoot at f22 all of the time? Well, aesthetically speaking, it's just not gonna be cool if like every single thing is in focus. But there are more, you know, technical reasons and limitations. So for instance, if you were using, if you were using available light and you shot at f22, you would have to decrease your shutter speed, which might lead to motion blur, or you would have to increase your ISO, and that's gonna give you degraded image quality overall. But more importantly, when you start to stop down past, a, past about F8 or F11, this technical phenomenon called diffraction kicks in. And we don't really need to go into it, you know, deep and all of that stuff, but scientifically speaking, you know, that sort of thing. But just know that the sweet spot for your lenses where they're gonna reach their optimal sharpness and optimal depth of field is somewhere between 5.6 and F8. Sure, you can go up to F11, but um, anywhere past that, when you start getting into those crazy big F numbers, that diffraction's gonna kick in and you're gonna end up with more depth of field, but the individual small details are not gonna resolve that well, and you're just gonna end up with sort of this mushy image where everything's in focus. Anyway, thank you guys so much for your time. I hope that that helped. If you have any questions, please leave those below. Also, please hit subscribe, give me the thumbs up, turn on the bell, all of that good stuff. And until next time, stay safe, wear your mask, hug a puppy, and I will talk to you soon.